express my feelings right now. I want to talk through what I'm feeling right now. Well, I had this wonderful, amazing girlfriend this last week. I had a wonderful time with her. And then I met this other girl. And I told the first girl, I'm, um, I'm in the mood to go hang out with the other girl this coming day, which will be Friday. And, um, right. <laughs> what do I say? Me and the first girl broke up, Priscilla, right? And what happened, right? We had a conversation, or she texted me in the middle of the night, and I texted her back saying, you know, I want to hang out with, um, Emily, and um, uh, and I told her I had a wonderful week, and I hope to give her a big hug in church next time I see her. And um, and then she calls me, and she's apologizing this and that, thinking she did something wrong and it wasn't it wasn't her. <clears throat> And then she says, she says, <clears throat> she says, did you say that you wish I was dead? And I thought about it, you know, it's not something I would say, but I remember in previous conversation, I said, I can't, I'm, I can't, I, I'm amazed you're still alive. I'm happy you're still alive, that you're alive considering how overweight you are, you know? And yes, I, I said this to her, and, and normal people don't say that to normal people, but this is what I said, and maybe I said it to um, ease the process of, of saying goodbye to this girl, right? So anyway, she keeps thinking, I mean, I wish she was dead, right? And uh, she hung up and she blocked me. And so I'm, I'm milling over, mulling over what, what happened. And I feel this feeling, this is the whole point of the video, I feel this feeling. And before I, I analyze where this feeling is, what's going on, I just uh, immediately assume that the feeling is guilt and shame and um, embarrassment and things like this for causing this girl um, heartache and and insulting this girl and and... And then I came to terms with figuring out what is actually happening in my body. What am I actually feeling, right? To say, maybe, um, maybe I'm a bad person, but let's, let's find out scientifically why, right? I felt under my arm, um, what's it called? Under both arms on the bicep, on the side of the bicep, I felt a, um, you know, a passion. I felt, I felt, um, I, I want to start by saying I felt a pull, but I don't think it was a pull. It was more like, it was more, it was more like a chemical, like, um, like sour milk, type of thing, like feeling sour milk go into the side of my bicep, right? And my chest, I, I would say, I would describe my chest as like a sinking feeling in my chest, right? <sighs> right. 
what else do I want to say about this? Right? <clears throat> I guess I want to say that I still want to go back to that church, the spiritual center in Grants Pass. And I still want to give Priscilla a hug if I see her. And I expect the church, someone at the church is going to catch wind. They're going to see me and they're going to invite me to leave. And I, I want to say, I want to, I want to plead my case in the sense that I like going to that church, right? It's a wonderful church. I had a great time. I like the people, right? And I want to, I want to communicate with this person that comes up to me to say, this is not irreparable. This is, this is, I like going to the church enough to where I want to work with you in conversation to communicate and, and come to terms with what happened because As I say it, I want to say something ridiculous like, um, Priscilla, I have, I have a college degree and Priscilla doesn't have any college and it was just a matter of time before I, um, a horrendous miscommunication was made, right? Such as that. Right, and as I say that, I'm, I'm talking this through here, I'm talking this through. I say, a whore in this miscommunication to say, if, I'm just thinking out loud, if, if I was with someone that was college educated, if I was with someone who was happy to be alive, just, just joyful and, and just having a wonderful life like I am. If I'm, if I was with someone like that and I said what I said to her, I can't, you know, I'm, I'm happy you're still alive. I would hope they would I, I want to say take it the right way. I hope I hope it would roll off their back. I hope they would. You know, it, it's ridiculous as I say it, but um, if someone told me, I'm glad you're still alive, considering how overweight you are, right? I probably would not get offended from that, right? And if a woman told me that, here we go, here's another point. If a woman told me she's glad I'm still alive, considering how overweight I am, I wouldn't get offended. If a woman told me your dick's too small, right, I would feel, I would feel embarrassed, I would feel, um, lesser, I would feel, you know, <sighs> right? I mean, what did happen? Lucinda, Lucinda, my second wife, basically told me my dick's too small, right? Because I said, I said, you know, your, your pussy's a little loose. Maybe we could get surgery to tighten it up, right? And she said, your dick's too small, right? And then we got married. So, you know, isn't that interesting? What an interesting life you live, Brad. <clears throat> and then we got married. You know, I'm not in a big hurry to go back to that church. <clears throat> I'm 
not in a big hurry to defend myself when they come for me and say, get out. I say, make me. <clears throat> I say, get out. Right. right. Priscilla, you know, goes, cries in the corner or comes and punches me, smacks me around. I don't know. <laughs>